What's up guys, it's SolDF back with another video and before you guys skip ahead to the jump shot because I know that's what people do when they watch jump shot videos, they just skip ahead, take the jump shot and leave. Trust me, I've done it before. I just wanna recommend that you guys watch the whole video because it's not just this jump shot that makes me shoot greens all the time. There are a bunch of other factors that take into account. So basically you can just take the jump shot and not listen to whatever else I have to say, but I will be giving some crucial tips that'll help you shoot better in NBA 2K20. So yes, today I am finally releasing my jump shot. So many people have been asking me for it in my streams, on my videos, they just come to my stream. Literally every like three minutes someone says, Solo, what is your jump shot? So I would appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video since I'm releasing let's aim for 200 likes on this video i know we can do it also make sure to subscribe i've been getting so many new subscribers recently and i want to say thank you for that all right so in all my videos i tell my viewers to comment something in the comment section just to see who made it to that point in the video and since this is a jump shot video i know a lot of people have just skipped ahead taken the jump shot and they're already clicked off the video by now i know the video has only been going on for like two minutes and they're already doing something else they already have the jump shot so for this video i want to see who is still watching at this point you guys see me on your screen in this back alley you know sketchy solo in the building some sus activity may have went on some black air force activity may have occurred let me know in the comments what you guys think i was doing in this back alley all right now that we got that out of the way let's get into it Wish we could turn back time to the good All right, so here we go. We are on the My Animation screen, and I'm not going to be showing my dribble moves because I want to release those in another video. Obviously, you know that makes sense. I'm sure you can understand that. But before we get into the jump shot, I want to show you guys my other shots. So for free throws, I have on Michael Jordan. It's always been a good free throw. I mean, I don't really shoot free throws. That doesn't really matter. Now, this is probably the main thing you guys want to take away, other than the jump shot. Dribble pull-ups. Put on normal normal four. Normal four has been the best dribble pull-up. If you guys don't know, dribble pull-up basically is a fade. Um, so normal four has been the best dribble pull up since 2k19. I put it on this year It's been working for me pretty much everyone that's comp uses it I'm pretty sure spin jumpers Steph Curry if you're a shot creator I'm gonna recommend you put this on if you're not a shot creator and you don't really take spin jumpers at all It doesn't really matter, but I would still go with Steph Curry hop jumpers I have on James Harden and the rest of this are just, just like post moves So this doesn't really matter. You could throw these on if you want to all right, so here we go, pulling out the glitchy jump shot. It's gonna be this last file here. Edit jump shot, here we go. Bang, you guys can see it now on the bottom right corner of your screen. Base is jump shot 98, release one is release 98, release two is Rudy Gay, and the blending you guys see on your screen is 50 50. if you guys don't have jump shot created then just use jump shot 98 in my opinion at least this is the best jump shot in the game i know there's people out there that say 98 doesn't work for them i don't really understand that 98 you know just put it on go into my court you guys are gonna you guys are gonna know what i'm talking about it's just snaps into a green animation it is the best 50 50 on the blending though um you could go pure 98 like i said if you don't have jump shot created that's an option but since i do have jump shot creator uh, Rudy Gay is a release that I've been using for a minute now so I just wanted to kind of incorporate that into my jump shot and also release 98 is good as well so that's why that's in there so I have 50 50 on the blending since this is a jump shot video I'm sure that there's gonna be some people that put on the jump shot I just gave you and it just doesn't work for some reason so I'm gonna show you guys another jump shot this is a 38 jump shot which in my opinion is the second best base uh, base jump shot 38 so again if you don't have jump shot creator just put on 38 but for this, I have base, jump shot 38, release one, LaMarcus Aldridge, release two, Rudy Gay. Again, Rudy Gay is a release that I've been using for years. Everyone knows it's a good release. You know, if you talk to anyone in the 2K community, Rudy Gay is one of the top releases if you ask them. Release one, LaMarcus Aldridge is another really good release. And then jump shot 38 is another really good base. So you guys can try this jump shot if you want. I don't use it anymore. I use the other one. But if 98 isn't working for you, try 38. All right, now that we got the jump shot out of the way, I want to give you guys some tips that'll make you a better shooter so the first thing i want to talk about is your shot meter so this year in 2k20 many of you guys probably already know this but if you turn your shot meter off you get a shot percentage boost so right here shot meter you go to controller settings and you turn this off you get a shot percentage boost now i use mine because it's kind of like a personal preference thing like some people just can't get used to it but you're gonna have to learn the timing and then you could turn off your shot meter and see if you can still you know get greens consistently for me you know i'm kind of on and off with it some games i can some games some games i can't but i'm like the rare occasion i'm just telling you guys 
you'll get a shot percentage boost if you turn off your meter. If you get the timing down, then I really recommend using your shot meter off, especially if you're a guard, because it gives you that shot percentage boost. All right, now that I finished talking about the shot meter, I want to talk to you guys about badges. Some of you guys probably already know this, but badges are one of, if not the most important thing when it comes to your my player. So here are my shooting badges. I'm not really going to go too in depth because I do have a full video on like shooting badges and kind of like why you should or shouldn't use a certain badge. I'll put that in the description if you guys want to watch that. All right, guys, so I'm going to briefly go over my badge setup. So some guards use catch and shoot or corner specialist. I really don't feel the need to. I don't use those. I use dead eye on silver, difficult shots on silver. That's all you need, difficult shots on silver. Flexible release on bronze. A lot of guards don't use this badge at all. And I just, I just kind of throw it on bronze. I feel like it's one of those badges that makes a huge difference. Just having it on bronze just helps out a ton. It makes me uh, make more whites. So I recommend trying that if you want. Um, Green Machine, Hall of Fame, no questions asked. It's a really good badge, probably the best. One of the best in the game. Hot Zone Hunter on gold. I'm going to talk more about Hot Zone Hunter in a second, but I put that on gold. Range Extender on Hall of Fame, Quick Draw on Hall of Fame, Volume Shooter on Silver. This is a badge that, you know, if you want to if you want to hear me talk about it a lot more, go to the description and watch my shooting badge video. But this is a really underrated badge, and I recommend you should try it out. Read the description if you guys want. Here, I'll pull it up, pause the video, read it. But with Hot Zone Hunter, I wanted to talk about this really quick. I use it on gold, and honestly, I could go up to Hall of Fame if I want. Now, let me show you guys. If you go over to Stats right here, and then you go to Roster, this is how you guys check your Hot Zones. So you get your player right here. You push your right stick in, so this menu pops up, and then it normally starts over here. Press left trigger twice. Pull up this screen. This is your NBA Hot Zones. These are not your Park Hot Zones. So you're going to press X up the park hot zones you guys see i have so many hot zones so that's why i have it on gold that's why i'm thinking about putting on a hall of fame but if you guys check this screen and you don't have too many hot zones then there's really no you there's really no need to use hot zone hunter at all so just check this screen see how many hot zones you have and then kind of base the badge off of this all right so now i'm out here in the neighborhood yo what the a football player just started walking past me that was weird but now I'm in the neighborhood and the next thing I want to talk about is boost. So if I go to my progression here, skill boost, I haven't even played today. I don't even remember if I played yesterday. I've been busy with school, but here you guys see I have 40 jump shot boost. You know, I just, I always play with jump shot boost. Everyone that is comp at this game plays with jump shot boost. Also, I want to talk about Gatorade. They are really expensive, like so expensive, but they help out a ton. So if you can afford, you know, the VC to get Gatorade, then I recommend doing so. Um, buying all three works, whatever, whatever you want to do. I only buy the energy shoes and also make sure to do your workouts in the Gatorade facility. They actually matter this year. But here you go. You see me talking to the lady pulling up the jump shot screen. I don't know what's taking so long. Here we go. Uh, jump shot pack right here. 10 for 1500 VC. And then you can buy one for 200 VC. I don't know why you would do that. Just buy the 10 pack. Trust me, there's no shame in buying jump shot boost. Everyone does it. And you're just at a disadvantage if you don't buy these. The next thing that I'm going to talk about, and this is actually going to be the last thing that I'm going to talk about, is about the jump shot. You guys are going to not want to change your jump shot. Like, you might put on the jump shot that I showed you, and it might not be working. I mean, it's your choice if you want to if you want to change jump shots or whatever. But stick with one jump shot. If you want to stick with mine, you know, jump shots are kind of personal preference. I mean, they do have some analytics to go along with it, but for most of the time, it kind of it just depends on you and if you can feel the jump shot and time it correctly. So put mine on, you know, shoot around with it, maybe take 20 shots. If it's just not working, then just, I don't know, find another jump shot, but it should be working pretty well. And just don't change jump shots because some people they'll start shooting bad after like a day and then they'll just change jump shots. And it's like an everyday thing. They're changing jump shots every day. That's not what you guys are going to do. You guys need to stick with the jump shot and learn the timing. Trust me, same with the shot meter. You know, I've turned it off for like a day or two. I still can't get it down, but that's just me. Trust me, turn your shot meter off and just shoot with it. Try to get the timing down because it'll really help you in the long run. If you guys made it to this point in the video, we're finally at the end of the video. If you made it to this point in the video, I want you to go in the comments and comment Shady Solo in the comments. This will show me who actually watched the whole thing through and made it to the end. But yeah, I hope these tips help you guys out. I've been using this jump shot for probably like a month and a half now, and it really has been so good for me. Like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments also if you put this on. Let me know if it's working for you, if it's just like a me thing. I don't know. Put it on. Let me know. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed or if it helped you at all. Make sure to subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.
Yeah, niggas hate on me, hate on me. I'm getting money, what the fuck can you say to me? Yeah, bitches cry for me, cry for me, cry for me. If you my nigga, then you're raw for me, raw for me. Yeah, you a treat, but you a dog to me, dog to me. Baby, you see me, get no love from me, love from me. I keep a hoodie, cause it's cold to me, cold to me. So when y'all see me, y'all gon' notice me, notice me.